Hey guys, Steven and David here from ProTech. Today we're going to talk about the TAC Comp Hybrid HD, the heavy duty version. The TAC Comp Hybrid HD has built in level 2 retention, and uh, we've got a few improvements uh, to the design since our last video, so that's why we're updating it. Isn't that nice? Mm -hmm. So, uh, our first our main, really, our main improvement. Uh, aside from the Generation 11 leather, uh, is the rotating hood. We're now using a uh, spring-assisted thumb thumb locking or thumb unlocking rotating hood. So David, could you uh, or uh, Amy, come on in? Let's get a close up here. David, could you demonstrate a nice slow draw? Go ahead. There it is. Okay, and then a reholster. Okay, and then let's get it at a different angle. Okay, go ahead, David. Mm -hmm. And if you notice, David has rather large abs, <laughs> and because he does so many sit ups, his abs are coming off to the side a little bit. So, we have done a couple of things to make this a lot more comfortable. As if you see here, see this piece of leather that we've adhered to the thumb drive. So we go in and we polish, we polish the the level two retention thumb actuator. Okay, and then we attached a piece of leather to give that a nice generous radius to go up against his side. David, uh, uh, on a level of one to ten, how does that holster feel uh, comfort wise? I'd say it's a nine or ten. It's a, and actually the first time I've actually wore this type of a holster. Um, due to my body shape, it's a little bit difficult to get one inside the belt. And when you have one on the outside, you want it to be comfortable. And this one's this one's very comfortable. Matter of fact, bending down, wadding. Yeah, I don't think it's not even it's not in the way. So this would be a good outside the belt carry type holster. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, let's say, uh, may I try to grab that gun out of your holster? Is that okay? Go ahead. I'm just going to look like I'm looking so, the other way. Yeah, if he's looking the other way and I want to grab this thing out of, out of the holster. <laughs> I think I'm jerking my pants off yeah. before he gets the gun out. <laughs> uh, so that's, that's pretty good. And that's a good thing because when you're in a situation yeah. where there's a crowd around you, mm -hmm. you may have an auxiliary weapon, you don't want them to sneak up and pull your handgun. Yeah. I really like this. Uh, I really like this uh, option on there. Mm -hmm. Makes me feel more secure when I'm in a situation where there's more than yeah. one or two people around me. Yeah. So if someone were to try to grab it from behind, you could turn and give them a tactical elbow yeah. to their uh, butt sniffer, yeah. and then turn around and draw the gun. Go ahead. Push down and in. Yep. And there it is. Still getting used to that uh, mechanism. If you see how easy it is when you think about pushing it down. Yeah. <coughs> yep. Cool. We'll have to make one for your HK BP9. Yeah. With TLR8 on it. Yeah. 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 We'll uh, we'll photograph that one for the website All right. too. But anyways, guys, that's the TAC Comp Carbon HD. Now let's go ahead and pull it off. Uh, we've got a few different clip options. This one we went ahead and put the Molly Lock clips on it. That we put on the uh, the TAC Comp and the TAC Comp Hybrid models as well, uh, and then we've also got our new Speed Ease clips uh, that we can put on there. Miss Amy still has to laser engrave the logo on there. We'll do that before we take pictures and put them on the website. Um, but uh, uh, this particular customer wanted the six millimeter Molly locks because he's got a thick leather belt uh, that he wears, and then I also use the six millimeters because I use a Core Essentials. Um, Core Essentials uh, tactical belt. It's a it's a hybrid between leather and Cordura nylon. Um, so those are pretty nice. I cut mine a little bit too short though. So make sure when if you get one of these Core Essentials belts that you don't cut it too short. And then of course we cut all of our rigs such that you can get a full purchase on the gun all the way around, um, <clears throat> which is important. Uh, you know that you get a full grip on the gun while it's in the holster 
Uh, and then we also fully cover the trigger guard. You can see there's no exposed trigger guard. Uh, this one has, has to be molded out a little bit to accommodate for the TLR7. And this guy also, this customer also has a uh, Recover Tactical uh, Glock 19 rail extension that lowers the rail. Uh, I guess he just wanted the, la the rail lowered a little bit so that the switches were lower uh, instead of just attaching it to the Glock 19's rail because uh, it has its own rail already on the, on the frame of the gun. Um, and then also on our rigs we leave the magazine release exposed so that uh, let's say you're, you're one arm down, okay? Well, if, if I'm an arm down, like say my left arm is, is out of commission for whatever reason, and I need to holster my gun and, and change mags, I can stick my gun in the holster and I can release the magazine from inside of the holster. Now, is it a risk? Am I at risk for, oh, I'm not gonna use the customer's gun, I'll use my gun. Um, some folks are like, well, what if, I, what if I hit the magazine release? Well, here I'm standing on it, all over the gun. That's pretty worst case scenario, and the magazine's still in the gun. Um, and you can see, well, that's a pretty cool pattern, cheetah pattern there on the, <laughs> on, the, on the rig. And this is the micro. This is one of our inside the waistband holsters. This is a bit of a tangent, but we get asked that sometimes. So now let's do a little bit more practical test. Uh, David, would you come and just push on this as hard as you can from the outside? Push it up against my up against my body. <clears throat> push on the gun all over it, anywhere anywhere on it. Smash it up against my body. Try trying to disengage the magazine release. Try to disengage the magazine release from hitting it from the outside. Okay. Rotate the pistol grip in. And I was pulling the magazine at the same time. I was. Yeah. Uh... Can you pull it? Yeah. No. So no issue there. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that video. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the Tacom Carbon HD, and then of course don't forget your Black Rifle Coffee. This is the Freedom Blend. It's really good stuff. I recommend it. Gives you five more horsepower. So. <laughs> All right, guys. That's the Tac Comp Hybrid HD. We'll see you next time. Stay safe out there.